Omar Akram, Master of Communication Engineering at University of Botswana, Malaysia. I am here to present my dissertation work with the title Performance Evaluation of Time Sensitive Network for Critical Time Traffic. So, uh, my dissertation title, as I mentioned, is Performance Evaluation of Time Sensitive Network for Critical Time Traffic. Starting with uh, a background about time-sensitive networks, we should start early beginning with the Ethernet. Ethernet is a widely used communication mechanism in communications that does not require strict timing mechanism. Ethernet did not distinguish between different flows of a traffic. And the ideal design for Ethernet is linked to best effort communication. So, deterministic real-time communication is a demand for long time. IEEE begin, began, begins a task group called IEEE 802.1, which is the task group for TSN, time sensitive networking. The main uh, work for this group is to make an enhancements on the network of IEEE 802.3, which is Ethernet networks. Uh, they want to make an enhance by enabling it to transport scheduled traffic time, triggered traffic exactly, that will help to have bounded latency and low data. In addition to having a deterministic end-to-end -end latency on the network. So, time-sensitive network can be better explained by the following example. By the different priorities, each one of the data packets can be distinguished from others. So, when the packet reaches reach, when the packet reach each node, its priority will be known by the node, and it could be easily transmitted in the network. Uh, the traffic type that the TSN task group will deal with is three types. The time triggered, which is the highest priority, the audio video bridging, AADB, which is also high priority, and the best effort, which is low priority. So, what is our problem statement? In general, we want to design a network that provides real time traffic. Uh, Real-time traffic uh, network is a problem we should solve in order to keep traffic from being lost and to ensure that it arrives on time without delay, especially high priority traffic. So, uh, our problem will be first schedule traffic can't ensure real-time transmission of time critical traffic. And the second problem is that the high priority traffic can't access the transmission medium until the low priority traffic transmission, if being transmitted for sure, is complete. So, uh, in reference to our uh, problems, our objective is to, is to design a simulation for TSN network that ensure deterministic traffic by making a solution to enhance the scheduling problem for the TSN networks and to ensure that the high priority traffic access the transmission medium even if the low priority traffic is being transmitted. So going to literature review, we make a review on the existing work that relate to time-sensitive networks through the past years. Uh, we divide the review that we made into four uh, parts. First, we uh, make a review about the papers that talk about evaluation and validation of TSN networks. Second, we make a review about the paper that deal with the worst case analysis for the network and with the four tolerant architecture that relate to time-sensitive networks. 
Also, we make a review about those people who they, those papers who make an enhancement for scheduled and routed traffic, and other papers that have another approaches to enhance the scheduling in time sensitive networks. Now, going to our methodology, uh, our work will be as follows. We will build a TSN enabled switch that reads the gate control list and executes the read on the gate state of the network. Then we will ver verify the model of switch we build and we build a topology for the network. Then, based on the parameters of the host and the network topology, we will calculate the gate control list. Then, after all the model work, we build can use to check the feasibility of any algorithm based of TSM. Our model's function block will be two parts, the read file get control list function and the transmission model function. The traffic will reach to the stored traffic part of the transmission model function, then uh, the on the read get control, uh, get read file of the get control list, the get status will control the gate and if it's open, the, then it's forwarded, uh, depending on the time interval. And if it, it is closed, it will not be forwarded. This is how the gate will work. If it's open, we will check if the traffic, if there is traffic, if there is, we will forwarding. If there is not, we will go back. And if there, if it is closed, we, we will check if the packet being forwarded will continue or it will be stopped. This is the topology of the simulation based, of our, based on our benchmark. We will have switches and nodes, and these switches will be controlled by the gate control list. We will have best effort tokers and uh, listeners and time trigger tokers and listeners. The, the channel transmission mode will have the three parts, the protected window, it will be opened for the time trigger traffic and unprotected window. It will, be, it will be opened for the best effort traffic and the interference traffic. And the guard band, in this uh, period, all gates will be closed uh, regarding the starting of the next loop. The queue and the gate in egress port, this is how the queue will be. Eight queues from zero to seven. The fourth will be for the time trigger, the first for the best effort, and the zero for the interference traffic. Here we see that the time trigger the traffic is open and the others is closed. Uh, now going to our results, we, ha we have three scenarios. First scenario is a small network contain of time trigger traffic and best effort traffic only and one receiver. Second is uh, an enhance for the benchmark work and there is an extent for the benchmark work. Starting with the first scenario, the configuration parameter as follows. We will have 200 seconds as simulation time, one millisecond is a cycle time, and link rate is one gigabit per second. The network diagram will be simple as we see. We will have one switch, one talker for time trigger traffic, one talker for base effort, and one listener for the both traffics. Uh, this is links will be one gigabit. The traffic parameters as follows. One interval time for, for the time trigger traffic. Interval time is one millisecond. The payload size is 1,200 and priority is four. While in best effort traffic, the interval time is one millisecond. The payload size is 1,200 and the priority is one. Here we see that the priority four is higher priority than priority one. So the time record will have higher priority than the best effort. Going to the results, we see that the time trigger traffic will be stable at 29.58 microsecond, while the best effort will be 39.2 microsecond. That means that the, even though they have the same parameter, so the time that Time triggered have the priority, so it's have low late, lower latency than the best effort. This is the chart. We see that the time triggered more stable than the best effort and have lower latency. Going to the second uh, scenario, which is enhanced on the benchmark core, the configuration parameter will be as follows: simulation time will be one hundred second. The cycle time is one millisecond. 
while the links will be 1 gigabit and 10 gigabit. Showing the diagram, the 1 gigabit will be between the switches and the nodes, and 10 gigabit will be the, between the two switches. We'll have two switches, the time trigger talker, best for talker, and interference traffic, and time trigger listener, best effort listener, and interference uh, traffic receiver. The traffic parameters for the uh, our traffics will be as follows. The interval time will be one millisecond for the time triggered and this effort. The payload size will be the same for both 1000 bytes and while the priority will be higher for the time traffic, which is four and one for the best effort and zero for the interference the traffic. After running the simulation, the result as follows. We have 33.41 uh, microseconds for the time triggered, while for the best effort, around 48 microseconds. So the higher priority make the time triggered reach before the best effort. And this is the chart. Also, we see how it's more stable and lower latency than the best effort. Same to the scenario one. Compared to the benchmark work, the difference between our work and the benchmark work is that the link between the switches in the benchmark work is one gigabit, while in our case is 10 gigabits. This gives us 40, around 40 microsecond uh, latency for the benchmark work. Our change makes us have 30. 3.41 microsecond, which is around seven microsecond in hands and less latency time than the benchmark work. And this show how our work in the red line have lower latency than the benchmark work. The third scenario is extend on the uh, benchmark work. We're running the simulation for 50, second with cycle time of one millisecond and link rate is one gigabit per second for all links between the switches and nodes and between the switches. The one difference between scenario three and scenario two that we add another time trigger talker to check if we extend the network what is that what will be different. The traffic parameters for the time traffic for the time triggered will be interval time of one millisecond, payload size of 500 bytes and 700 bytes with the same priority. Best effort traffic will have the same interval time, which is one millisecond, while the payload size will be 1000 bytes and the priority is less, which is one. And the interference traffic will have one microsecond interval time, which is the worst case. So every one microsecond, the time trigger the interference traffic will send a message to interfere uh, and make congestion on the switch with the payload size of 1500 bytes. The result as follows. We have stable latency for the both time trigger traffic, 31 for the first and 39 microsecond for the second, while the best effort is not stable and it, it is between 49 and 50, 49 microsecond and 52 milliseconds. This is the graphs for the time triggered, as we see here, that the, time, the, the, the first uh, time trigger traffic with purple color is stable and less than the time trigger, while here the best effort also reach on, uh, on low time, but not stable and because the priority goes to the time triggered. Because the time triggered is higher priority than the best effort. In conclude, we were able to evaluate the performance of the time sensitive networks by focusing on one of the TSN standards, which is IEE 8 
0.1 QBP and then validate the results that we get. And we have three scenarios. The first scenario is simple network. The second is enhanced. Uh, we did on the benchmark work and we provide a comparison. We have less latency time by seven, seven microseconds, about seven microseconds. And the third scenario, the third scenario is extension on the network. Uh, and even with the extension, we have a stable time triggered latency and higher priority than the best effort traffic. Thank you very much for your listening. This is the end of my presentation.